పోయిట్స్ అండ్ ప్యాన్ కేక్స్ బై అశోక మిత్రన్ పార్ట్ టూ తో సుబ్బు వాస్ నంబర్ టూ అట్ ద జెమినీ స్టూడియో హీ వర్క్ ఇన్ ద స్టోరీ డిపార్ట్మెంట్ విచ్ కన్సిస్టెడ్ ఆఫ్ మెనీ పోయిట్స్ యాజ్ వెల్ ఎస్ అ లాయర్ హీ వాస్ అ లీగల్ అడ్వైజర్ బట్ వాస్ ఆల్వేస్ కాల్డ్ ద లాయర్ వైల్ ఎవ్రీ అదర్ మెంబర్ ఆఫ్ ద డిపార్ట్మెంట్ ఓర్ ఖాది దోతి విత్ అ స్లైట్లీ ఓవర్ సైజ్డ్ అండ్ క్లమ్స్లీ టేలర్డ్ వైట్ ఖాదీ షర్ట్ ద లీగల్ అడ్వైజర్ ఓర్ pants and a tie and sometimes a coat that looked like a coat of mail often he looked alone and helpless a man of cold logic in a crowd of dreamers once an extremely talented actress was also extremely temperamental blew over on the sets while everyone stood stunned the lawyer quietly switched on the recording equipment and played it back later this completely silenced and terrified her this encounter marked the end of her brief but bright acting career like so many of those who were close to the boss he was allowed to produce the film and though a lot of raw stock and pancake were used on it not much came of the film then one day the boss closed down the story department and this was perhaps the only instance in all human history where a lawyer lost his job because the poets were asked to go home the gemini studio was frequented by famous poets like sts yogiya sangh subramanyam krishna shastri and harindranath chattopadhyay the mess at the studio was excellent it prepared a nice coffee which was available all day long in those days the congress rule meant restrictions and a cup of coffee with friends was the only source of entertainment only the office boys and some clerks at the studio worked the others enjoyed their free time which was necessary for creating poetry most of the poets wore clothes made of khadi fabric and respected gandhi ji but were not politically inclined they hated terms like communism because they thought that a communist did not love his family he would not hesitate to kill them he was there to create violence among ignorant and innocent people end of part 2 thanks for watching part 3 coming soon